Today we're exploring the exotic island of Tenerife Canary Islands, also known as the Hawaii of Europe. There's only one problem. The island has become way too touristy, and you know that I'm not a big fan of overly touristic places. My British buddy Matt and I set out on a quest to find the true Canaries. This is dodgy out here, man, but it looks like Jurassic Park. The same islands that shape the famous Caribbean cultures of Cuba, Puerto Rico, Venezuela, and the Dominican Republic. The whole island is booked. Homeless, we're homeless for the night now. So join us on a journey through Spain's volcanic archipelago. Let's go. They don't like the tourists in this part of Tenerife. Good morning from Tenerife's most emblematic beach. This beach has an interesting history. It's called Playa Teresita because supposedly lots of prostitutes worked here and one of them was named Teresa. Also, all this sand you see here is sand brought from the Sahara Desert and once upon a time there was a lot of scorpions and snakes so it actually wasn't safe to be here. Today we're gonna get to know the rural Tenerife where the tourists don't go. And I've got a friend here, a Brit from Brighton. His name is Matt. How's it going, Matt? Yeah, good, Matt. Good, good. And we're gonna try to get to know the places where no tourists go. So join us on an adventure from beautiful Tenerife. All right, you guys, so our first stop is this big park called Anaga Park. And as you can see, the roads are a bit treacherous. Check out the views below. If you guys are scared of heights, this road is definitely not for you. Crikey. The climate, man, is wild here. It can change in an instant. I'm gonna show you guys this view below to see what we can see. Hola, que tal? Hola. De donde sois? Argentina, Francia, Argentinos. Francia, no vea, muy diverso. Sí. Wow. ¿Y usted? Valencia. Oh, una, una españolita. All right, guys, check out the views below. Mira. <laughs> Históricamente se llamaba Tere, se llama Teresa porque había una prostituta que se llamaba Teresa. Exactamente. <laughs> como Argentina, como 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 argentinos. Francia, España. ¿Qué te, hace, bueno. ¿Qué te hace sentir oh, sí, sí. las Canarias? Ale. O sea, ¿cómo te hace bueno, sentir? Chao, tranquilo. Chao. Tranquilo. tranquilo. Es tranquilo. Como, como estamos en casa, más o menos, tranquilo, ¿no? Muy sí, tranquilo. claro. Muy, muy tranquilo. parecido a Latinoamérica, ¿verdad? Sí, no, sí más es parecido. Menos. Bueno, como la el, gente, el Caribe. Sí, sí. El Caribe. Sí, sí. Pero tranquilo. Claro. Pero, pero vivís aquí, ¿no? Sí, sí. nosotros dos y ella sí. Y ella está de paseo. Ah, vale. Vale. Como Erasmus. Erasmus. Parecido. Sí. ¿No? Bueno, pero... Esa después va a Francia y así. Vivís... Vives en la isla. Sí. Entonces, ¿por qué no vives en la península, por ejemplo? Porque acá más tranquilo. Por el y, clima. Por, y porque hace calor siempre. El clima es mm. bueno. Calorcito, fresquito. Bueno, gente, bien. vamos a seguir. Un saludo. Vale. Gracias. Mucho gusto, señoritas. Mucho Hasta luego. Gusto. Que viva Gracias. Argentina sí. y las Canarias. <laughs> Chao. All right, you guys. Well, you can see there's friendly South Americans everywhere. This is an island filled with Latinos recently in the last couple decades, but mostly Venezuelans, and we're going to see more of that. Later on, with all the mixture of culture, the arepa, the bananas, the platanos, the sugar. So much history between these two places. What do you think about the history, man? It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's just so different. Like, like you were saying about the weather, it's so dark here. But you look at the other side of the island and the sun's out. It's hot there. Now it's raining. Yeah. And then it stops and yeah, it's crazy. You guys, this guy's a madman. I thought that I was crazy and I like to walk long distances. But this guy, he's walked across the island, the whole island, just camping. Just a tent. Let's go camp there. He does it. But that's what makes traveling really fun in these places is camping, walking, getting to know the, the locals, yeah. not the normal tourist stuff. Wow, I want you guys to see just how quickly it can change five minutes down the road. And it looks like we're in Hawaii, Latin America, just beautiful towns built into the mountainside, very narrow roads, just like Colombia, Venezuela, Hawaii. This is uh, Costa Rica. I don't think anywhere in the world like this exists because we're on an island. It's crazy. Esto va a la playa aquí abajo. No, por aquí, por aquí. Podemos bajar aquí. ¿Qué hay aquí? Mira, el chico ese pregunta al chico. Hola, señor. ¿Ah? Vale. Check it out. This is like a bus from uh, Alexander Supertramp. Scooby Doo. No, like the Into the Wild bus. ¿Qué tal? ¿Tú vives aquí? Sí. ¿Qué tal? La vida aquí. Bien, aquí ¿Eso es la, eso es casa o qué? No, 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 mi abuelo, no sé. No sabes. Pero eso es casita. Sí, exactamente. Tú vives en un paraíso, hombre. No, un saludo, ¿cómo te llamas? Yo, David. Yo, David. Mm. Canario, ¿no? Canario. Tiene el feño, chicharrero. Sí, exactamente, ahí lo da. ¿Aquí hay discotecas en este pueblo? No. No, no hay no, nada no, aquí. Aquí no hay nada. Aquí hay discotecas en Santa Cruz. Sí. 
pero es muy es un paraíso no muy verde es claro. distinto es distinto esto es increíble y yo adivina de dónde soy yo dónde vivo yo Seviano, eso, eso, soy Seviano. Venga, yo, hasta luego. Un saludo. Venga. Man, this is where you started your hike, man. This is this is something else. This is Latin America. Check it out. A Catholic church here. There were some conquistadors here once upon a time. Christopher Columbus perhaps stepped foot right in this village. It's just absolutely incredible. The footprint, the mark that the Spanish left on the world from the peninsula down to the Canary Islands to places like this. It's absolutely astounding. We have plantains, platanos, some nice fresh water here, some agriculture, some pumpkins, onions, random crops that grow here in this little microclimate. You can't get this in the peninsula, that's for sure. You can't even get this in Latin America. This is one of a kind. Also, one thing you guys hear, they speak with usted very formally here. In the peninsula, it's always vosotros and tú. Check it out. Si, muy Latino. And it's no coincidence, you guys, that cultures in Cuba, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Venezuela were heavily, but heavily influenced by the life that came from these very parts. I want to teach you guys something about the people from Tenerife. Now, the people from Tenerife are called chicharreros. Chicharreros is a word that derives from the word chicharro, which means mackerel, because obviously the fishermen for hundreds of years fished these waters. Mackerel was plentiful, it was cheap, abundant, and it's what the chicharreros lived on. Hola, señor. Eh, ¿Dónde recomienda comer usted? Aquí en Iguete no hay. No hay, vale. ¿Y un pueblo en el norte? ¿Recomiendas Punta Hidalgo? Es muy lejos, ¿no? Santa Úrsula. Santa Úrsula. Sí, más vale. cerca. Okay. En el norte come bien, donde, en cualquier sitio. Vale, queremos un guanchiche. Un guachinche. Un guachinche. Eso. Paparrugá, mopicón. Vino. Vino. Aquí hace un calor que te cagas. <laughs> Mucho calor en el barranco. Bueno, señor, hasta luego. Cuida, cuídense, cuídense. En este aquí, ¿recomiendas un buen restaurante para comer menú de día por aquí? ¿No hay? Aquí no hay nada. ¿En qué pueblos? Queremos ir al norte, no a Santa Cruz. Queremos tirar para el norte, Carboneras. ¿Por ahí hay? Ah, sí, pero tiene que ir a San Andrés. Vale. Y salir ahí. Y, y subir. Vale. Ya vale. Encuentro restaurante, ya hay. Vale, señor. Hola, señor. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Bien? Bien, Chicharreros de pura cepa. Canario de pura cepa. Ahí está, ahí bueno. está. Hasta luego, hijo. Bueno. Well, we've arrived to the middle of nowhere and we have some Charles Darwin scientists here. These are the endemic species of the island. Look at it. They're searching for, for lizards and taking photos from Galicia. They're Galicians. I'll check it out. Look at the little feet. The little gecko. ¿Dónde sois de Estados Unidos? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Inglés. 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 De Brighton. Sí, señor, ¿y dónde estoy en Galicia? Eh, Coruña y Lugo. Coruña. Norte, norte. Mucho frío ahí. Aquí fresquito, hace pelete, pero bueno. Wow, you guys, you can just see how how dangerous it can be here driving. We're in the middle of this park and it's just sheer drops on all sides. We got sports cars and random old collectibles driving through the mountains. Wow. Woo! Wow, you guys, the bus drivers here have to have balls of steel because look at, they're driving here and what looks like Hawaii. This is dodgy out here, man. This is dodgy, but it looks like Jurassic Park. I can see dinosaurs all around me, pterodactyls and shit. Oh my God. This isn't Hawaii, this isn't Costa Rica. This is Tenerife, Canary Islands. Well, you guys, we can't escape the tourists. It's quite hard on such a small island, even though this is the biggest island in the Canary Island archipelago. But you can see why the tourists, we got these tourists here, why they come here. Look at all these views all around us. These little villages down in the canyons, the gorges, they're isolated because they're shielded by the mountains on all sides and the ocean on this side. Check it out. All right, you guys, the island's very small, so don't be an idiot like this guy parking diagonally taking up multiple spots the roads aren't that uh wide here so we actually have to walk quite a bit to get down to this typical canary island restaurant wow in this village called taganana now the names here are super interesting i mean these definitely don't exist in in the peninsula however these canary island guanche 
interesting names definitely exist in countries like Venezuela, you know, in Colombia, etc. It's just so fascinating to be in a world that's so similar yet so far and so different. Well, you guys, Matt and I are really enjoying our food here. This is really good. It's not so, um, it doesn't taste so much like the ocean, honestly. It's very just juicy. And you eat it here with this mojo picon sauce. Mm, it's really good. Yeah, get a little bit of that mojo picon on there. Now you guys, I have to confess, I'm not actually much of a fish fan, but when in Rome, you gotta try it. That's really good, the sauce. Mm. All right, let's talk to the local villagers in Taganana. Hello, señor, buenos días. ¿Cómo andas? Bien. Bien aquí. ¿Qué tal vivir en Taganana? Bien, bien. Tranquilito. Sí. El mejor restaurante del pueblo, ¿no? Sí, el mejor pueblo. Pero aquí, ¿a la vida es dura o fácil? La vida es normal. Normalito. Buen vino. Buen vino. Buen vino. Ah, mira, salud y fuerza la cañadú. Eh, ese vino es de Terravero. De Terravero. Sí, sabe dónde es el norte. Yo, yo, ¿Otro, ¿Otro pueblo? Sí. Ahora vamos al norte, más a Puerto de la Cruz, ah, y Col. Nah. Y vamos a buscar plátanos y vino por ahí. Ah, pues eso hay buen, buen plátano. Vale. Y buen vino tinto. Muy bien, señor. Hasta luego. Ah. Cuídate, ¿vale? Igualmente. Que Dios te bendiga. Well, you guys, Matt and I have ran into an issue. The whole island is booked. Jesus Christ, you can't get away from the tourism here. I mean, we're tourists as well, but not typical. Literally, we can't find a hostel, so we're thinking we're just gonna go to some random village and ask the local villagers what the have they got. I mean, we would sleep in a place like this. Matt's done it before. <laughs> He's hiked across the island, he's camped on random beaches. Surely there's some bed or two beds in the city for two handsome young travelers. What are we gonna do? Guys, look, it's a Canary Island cat. Strange species down in these parts. Well, you guys, the local bar people have told us they have no idea. We're gonna ask someone else in the village. Hola, señor. Hola, amigo. <laughs> Tú sabes dónde hay hostales en la isla? No, no encontramos alojamiento. Estamos varados. Estamos jodidos, básicamente. Una cueva. Hay cuevas para dormir también. <laughs> ah, cueva, claro. <laughs> Pero, amigo, eh, un saludo, hermano. Eh, igualmente. ¿Tú eres cueva, cueva. <laughs> Tú eres cueva hay un montón a dormir. Un saco a dormir. Y una cerveza. Y un vaso de vino. <laughs> ahí está, ahí está. Así se vive. Vino, cerveza, cigarros. Claro, claro. Campo. Y aire puro. Aire puro. Y después por la mañana, leche y gofio. Gofio, yo quiero gofio. gofio. Me gusta gofio mucho. Oh, <risa> Manuel, ¿y tú? Manuel, Elliot. Elliot. <risa> Elliot el guiri, ¿vale? <risa> Hasta luego, señor. Vale, suerte. You guys, here in the Canary Islands, they drink, they eat sugar cane. Es como Cuba, o Venezuela, o Puerto Rico. Madre mía. Y sabe bien. Sí, sabe dulce. ¿Puedes probarlos para nosotros? Pero le quítale, le quítale, quítale la, la cáscara. Mm. Oh, eres, un, eres un chicharrero de verdad. De verdad, un chicharrero. Esto no se come. No se come. Solo, eh, solo sacarle el jugo. Vale. Muy curioso, yo. En serio. En serio. ¿Qué, ¿Qué se destaca to Prueba, Tocoronte? Muérdelo, muérdelo, chúpalo, pero no te lo... Muérdelo, chupa, le saca el jugo. Le saca el jugo. Pero no te, lo, no te comas la... Eh, eso. Mm. Dale, no tiene ya. Rico, ya tengo. Está, está buena, dice. ¿De dónde son ustedes? Somos de Estados Unidos. Inglater eh, Inglaterra, yo, Estados Unidos. Eh. Pero ahora somos de España, de Canarias. Ah, muy bien, ya. Somos uno de Empadronado ya. Empadronado. Vamos a pagar impuestos y echar a los políticos corruptos. Sí, muy bien. Hasta luego. Well, guys, we're pretty much shit out of luck right now. We're on the top of the island in a national park, isolated. We can't find a place to stay. What are we going to do, bro? I don't know, man. We're homeless. We're homeless for the night, man. Yeah, basically, we're refugees right now. But at least we have some beautiful views. That would be Africa that way, Santa Cruz that way, and this way. The north, the wild north of the island. Incredible views actually at this hour. We ate down there earlier. Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna say that this is the most beautiful place in Spain, you guys. There's so many beautiful places, but this one is definitely the top for me. Hay unos hoteles por aquí, hostales. Ah. 
Well, you guys, you can see they don't like the good old turistas, the tourists in this part of Tenerife. Matt and I are still searching for a hotel. We literally can't find anything. So somehow we've discovered an abandoned hotel. Tourists go home. Tourists go home. So Matt, go home. See ya. I'm staying here. <laughs> no, gente, let's, but really guys, uh, let's check this uh, out. The history behind this is that there's two airports in Tenerife, the north and the south. And ob obviously the majority of tourists go to the south. They stay there in the warm part. And only the adventurous, relaxed tourists get to this part. So obviously they developed this part of the island a lot more, but a place like this didn't last very long. Wow, this is a dragon tree. Well, you guys, once a time, this hotel was a functioning hotel for all the Brits that came down here during the 70s and 80s. It was a cheap holiday because the airport in the north, while it was close, they didn't have access to the south side of the island. So once upon a time, little British boys like Matt here were playing and his parents told them, behave yourself, you little cunt. <laughs> but that's just a figment of our imagination, a remnant of the past here in Bahamar in Hotel Neptuno. <laughs> Curious to see in what year did they actually abandon this hotel? Wow, 1972. Wow, was kostet die Welt? Scheiße. There were more Germans than Brits here. Little German boys running around with their mommy and daddy saying Scheiße. Well, you guys, good news is we found an Airbnb. It was the only Airbnb in the whole island and they accepted us and it was around 80 quid, so we got lucky. This is what happens when you get a little bit off the tourist path, you know, rent a car and explore. It's really hard to avoid the tourist spots to be completely honest in Tenerife, but there still are some authentic places like here, an abandoned hotel. Anyways, we'll pick up tomorrow. We have a mission. We're going hunting for bananas and farmers and wine and other things, maybe some narco traffickers. So good night. It was a fun day, eh, mate? Yeah, man, yeah. Long day, but fun. I'm glad we got somewhere to stay tonight. Yeah, this guy, he actually knows the island a lot better than I do because he's walked across the entire damn island. So, good night from Punta Hidalgo, eh? There's some surfers down there. Beautiful place. Good night, you guys. Una buena dorada.